The Costa Concordia is holding steady this morning in its new upright position. Riding the cruise line is an extraordinary feat of engineering. The cruise ship that wrecked off the coast of Italy is larger than the Titanic. Now the man who got it right side up is sharing his story with our Mark Phillips. The story of the Costa Concordia is of course about a huge disaster, but it's also about two men. It's about the captain who put her on the rocks, and it's about the guy who's trying to get her off. Holy. Nick Sloan is the kind of guy you never hear about. But if the Italians ever brought back their monarchy, you might be looking at King Nicholas. Having carried off the rollover of the Costa Concordia, he's become a marine engineer superstar. It's not something that we're used to that much, but... This kind of the famous media attention, yeah. personality. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it'll probably pass. I wouldn't worry about it. No, I'm sure. I'm sure. As my wife says, when I get home, I still do the dishes. So. <laughs> so. It was Sloan who was convinced a ship this big could be turned upright, a prospect many doubted. No one knew exactly how much damage had been done to the hull over the last 20 months. So, because of the battering she took here? Yeah, basically she's been flexing on the seaway for 20 months uh, and you never know when it's going to fatigue. Okay, we're going up 10%. A lot could have happened. The boat could have broken apart. It could have twisted and not landed on the underwater platform built to catch it. If, and it's a big if, if all these terrible things that might have happened had happened, what kind of position would you, would you be in? Was there a plan B? No, basically then when she breaks, then that becomes more uh, a remedial measures because then all the debris and all the uh, bedding and mattress curtains, everything that's inside a 4,000 bed hotel yeah. comes out. And that's what... Could have been a disaster. Yeah. All in a day's work, something Nick Sloan will likely not have trouble finding after this job. You can probably write your own ticket now being the world's most famous, famous uh, salvage operator. No, I think you just go back home and uh, get back into the family life. But not yet. He's still got months here to shore up this wreck, somehow refloat it, and get it out of here. For CBS This Morning, I'm Mark Phillips in Giglio. Wow. Great story. Great story. And, yeah. uh, you know, I hadn't thought about that. Everything that's inside mm. would come floating out. Exactly. When you see something that's successful, you don't necessarily comprehend how bad it would be if it wasn't. Mm -hmm. We're not going to be able to say Giglio anymore on the air. <laughs> Thank you, Mark.